Yeah, so with my molecular diagnostic head on, I chaired a session um, on um, molecular diagnostics in CLL and in, in particular, with particular focus on the issue of 17P deletion, TP53 mutation, because there is a, uh, we know from um, you know, several different surveys, both within the UK and across Europe, that, that, that clinicians um, find it difficult to, um, uh, to, to request uh, the full panel of an, an analysis that needs to be done for, for CLL patients. So we know that about um, you know, two thirds of patients have deletions of 17P uh, where the TP53 uh, gene is, is located. And so those patients you detect by fish, but then there's about one third of patients you don't detect if you're doing just fish, you have to do uh, sequencing um, to look for TP53 mutations. And so that's very often not offered by laboratories um, or it's also not something that clinicians are aware of and so they're not requesting it. So the session was primarily on, on, on uh, raising awareness that patients with CLO need sequencing and fish. Um, and then there's a second issue around the, the quality of the sequencing um, technology and that clearly the, the current guidelines advocate Sanger sequencing because that's the, the conventional technology that all the laboratories are familiar with. Um, but going forward, uh, we, we, uh, we, I think everybody would, would agree that next generation sequencing is the right strategy because it's more sensitive and because we know that smaller clones of TP53 mutations in the patients are also relevant in, in terms of predicting poor response to chemoimmunotherapy. So, um, so it's really raising the awareness that it's about sensitive detection of TP53 mutations. Uh, clearly, those tests need to be uh, you know, ISO standard accredited in the UK. They have to have a diagnostic uh, accreditation. Um, we also touched on very interesting uh, issues of, um, uh, again, around sensitivity. Patients with low lymphocyte counts, is it useful to test on the peripheral blood? Of course, it isn't because the, the technology will not pick up. Um, uh, small clones of, of TP53 when the absolute lymphocyte count isn't isn't high enough. So we we, we discussed um, what alternative we could do then, and, and primarily then doing the test on the lymph node biopsy rather than on uh, the peripheral blood cells. So um, it was really about the practicalities of what a laboratory um, does um, when when a blood test arrives, uh, when, you know, when a blood sample arrives from a patient in in the laboratory. Um, and how that's processed, how it's being reported, what the pitfalls are of the of the technologies, how to interpret it. So um, it, it's one. I think this is one of the challenges in in hematology in the country generally is that uh, you know we are supposed to be laboratory hematologists, but we are so far away these days from from you know from the labs. Um, and yet we have to take responsibility and we also have to actually um, understand and keep up with the laboratory technology.